morning dear students in today's practical we are going to observe the pluck chord scale in shuck before that we need to understand about different types of scales that is present in different types of fishes first is thenoid scale what is its speciality it is somewhat round rimmed with uh, teeth like structures in outer edge and it is seen as in an overlapping pattern in which type of fishes it is common in perches in this type of fishes that is perches then sunfishes uh, the, in this type of fishes we can find this thenoid scale then another type of uh, scale that is cycloid scale why it is called cycloid it is almost cyclical circular or rounded having so many concentric circles or rings uh, all over its body what is that circles indicating uh, that circle indicates the age of the fishes if the uh, fish is uh, 2a then there will not be this much ring the number of uh, ring increases with the age of the fish that is cycloid in which type of fishes we can uh, see this cycloid uh, scale and also one one uh, one one more thing uh, in the case of the cycloid scale also its arrangement is in an overlapping pattern okay then in which type of fishes we can see the cycloid scales uh, the cycloid scales we can observe in uh, salmon fishes and also in carp in salmon and carp the cycloid scales are more common and then another type is there is called a ganoid scale how it looks it looks like a diamond like a uh, appearance diamond shape and uh, uh, one interesting thing for this type of scale is that its uh, way of or pattern of arrangement is not in an overlapping way instead it is arranged just like a jigsaw puzzle i think jigsaw puzzle what is jigsaw puzzle is familiar to you uh, for our uh, babies or kids there will be some puzzles for uh, the improving their iq uh, some uh, some pieces of pictures will be there and that baby need to join it to form a full picture that is jigsaw puzzle in that way the scales are arranged on the body of the fishes and which type of uh, fishes we can find this type of ganoid scales Uh, sturgeons uh, sturgeons is an uh, ad, um, ideal example for the fish having this type of uh, scale then coming to the scale that we that uh, we today are going to study that is pluck chord scale and uh, its arrangement uh, is also in an overlapping pattern here we can see that this is the picture of a single scale we can in this picture we can see some spines uh, uh, it is a uh, is common appearance of this placard scale and the spines we can named uh, as uh, median spine and lateral spine in some cases more than three spines we can uh, see in the placard scale and also a basal plate also we can see in this placard placard scale okay and this type of scales are common in cartilaginous fishes elasmobranchs and uh, a typical example is uh, that shark it is a common feature common scale uh, present in cartilaginous fishes okay then we can go and uh, uh, dissect and no, don't need to dissect we need to extract that scales from the skin of the shark and can observe under the microscope before that we need to understand what are the materials required to do this practical materials required shark skin piece of shark skin is required uh, then blade uh, then test tube 10 percentage koh spirit lamp slide cover slip brush wiping towel then finally microscope okay let's go and start the practical first we have taken a small piece of shark dorsal skin and then need to remove the excess fat that present under the skin okay now it's removed then we are we are going to put it in a test tube and 
and then pouring uh, required amount of 10 percentage KOH the amount should be enough to uh, dip that skin completely and then uh, need to heat in a spirit lamp and while heating we need to be very much careful to keep the test tubes direction out of our eyes uh, using some towel or anything we can wipe off the carbon particles that stick on the test tube wall while heating and when it is sufficiently heated uh, then we can see the pluck out scales stick to the wall of the test tube in the form of uh, uh, tiny sand particles then we need to next need to pour this one to a watch glass now we can barely see the pluck out scale in the form of sand particles next we need to take a small portion of this to a slide and for this we can either use a dropper or brush uh, um, brush is uh, the best thing to take in a amount because if we use dropper then we it will uh, um, it will add more excess water to the slide so after removing any excess water we need to put a cover slip and then we can observe it under uh, the low power of a microscope under the microscope we can see the plug code scale like in this way it is a basal plate and three spines median spine and lateral spine okay for your examination you also have to draw a neat diagram of this plug code scale with this we can finish this practical thank you I should fuck her in the best yeah.